Greetings and salutations. It is Wednesday? Yes, it is Wednesday, November 19th. And we're going to talk about professions. So, um, professions are different from previous expansions. And I actually quite like how they did them this time. They're a lot more straightforward, in my opinion. And there isn't a lot of finagling, I guess, for lack of a better word. It's a little bit more time-consuming and a little bit more frustrating at times, but I really truly think it's uh, it's quick. I really truly think this is a definite improvement on professions. So um, we're going to start with the basics. Um, so with the four uh, primary professions that everybody gets in the game. So archaeology, fishing, um, cooking, and first aid. You'll see I have maxed three of them out because I have no life. Um, so we'll start with uh, archaeology. So archaeology, um, you will while you're farming the very or while you're doing various archaeological things you can see i've got three dig sites here and the fourth one is in the ground um you will get a why is my phone buzzing stop that um you will get a while um digging and surveying um it can take a few tries you will get a brittle cartographers or cartography journal um and that will take you on a short quest and you will unlock Dranor uh, archaeology. Um, fishing is the same. You fish up the fishing fishing guide to Dranor either by killing a mob or by fishing it up. Um, first aid, you can either fish it up the first aid in Dranor scroll or you can drop it or it'll drop off of mobs and cooking is just a world drop. Now Archaeology works exactly the same as does fishing. First aid and cooking are a little different. So when you get cooking, you will learn these two, grilled saberfish and saberfish broth. Now, the reason for this is um, the crescent saberfish flesh drops from the crescent saberfish. Now, I don't have any fish in my inventory, but basically how it works is, depending on your fishing skill, and that includes lures, it doesn't necessarily have to be, um, uh, English, I speak it sometimes, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, just your flat fishing skill, it also counts if you put various lures on. Um, so this is what the fish look like. You will get small regular ones, so they'll say small in front of it, I don't have any, I gave them all to my husband, um, regular. So this is a regular fire ammonite, there's a small one and an enormous one. Do I have any enormous fish in here? Oh yeah, I should have a hundred or something, there we go, okay, so there's the enormous blind lake sturgeon, there's an enormous fat sleeper, um, there's some enormous crescent saber fish. And so if you have a small one, you need 20 of them, and then you fillet them, you just right click, and they will net you some of the flesh. So here is the crescent saber fish flesh. Um, if you have regular ones, they will net you 10. And if you have, or if you have regular ones, you need ten. And if you have the enormous ones, you only need five. And then you just right-click them in the stacks that apply, and it'll say right on there. You don't actually have to know this off the top of your head. Um, you'll just right-click, and then you'll get them. So you'll get all the flesh for cooking. So you learn these two first, and then you're just gonna create them. And the, these are the only things that these that uh, the saber fish is used for. So as soon as you get some, make them. And every time you make them for a little while, you'll get points for leveling up your cooking and you will have a chance to learn a new recipe. And these are all of the recipes. So um, there are seven different types of, well, there's eight different types of fish that you can fish up. One is a default, it gets you get it everywhere. Um, and then various, the other ones, you can either fish up all over the, uh, we'll get to fishing in a minute, sorry. Okay, so cooking. Um, so these are all the fish dishes. So if you're, this is how, pretty much how I leveled. I only did fishing. You make all of these and then um, you can use the flesh to make uh, Feast of the Waters, which are basically, if you guys did play to North and you know what feasts are, they're basically the the banquets essentially. Um, and this is what the Feast of the Waters looks like. So feed up to 10 people in your party area with Feast of the Waters, which is handy. Um, and then there's a meat one. So if you're not a fisher and you decide, no, I want to just kill stuff, they have the equivalent for meat. There's a little bit less because you start with these ones. Um, and then you can combine them to make with an herb to make these. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so. Anyway. Um, 
yeah, sorry, I'm still waking up. I was up at five this morning. This is kind of ridiculous. So that's how cooking works. Um, and then also every time you cook, you have a chance to get little leftovers. All you, it's just, it's a random uh, pop for lack of a better word. Um, it's a random thing that can happen while you're cooking. I haven't gotten him yet, as you can tell, but he's, it's in reference to a comic, uh, that was made, oh geez, a long time ago, I don't even remember where the comic was, but it's a really funny wow comic that this woman does, it's really, really good. Anyway, so that's how cooking works. Now fishing, um, works just like fishing, that's not any different. First aid is a little bit different, so when you find first aid, and you learn it, you learn these four. Now. You can make your own healing potions now, you don't need to be an alchemist. So you can see I have a whole bunch of those. Um, you can make this fire ammonite oil, and these are all from fishing. This one requires some fur and the sea scorpions, and these are the bandages. Um, so then you have the anti-venom, which cures poisons. Um, and then the fire ammonite oil cures diseases and then the healing tonic restores health. So that's basically what first aid is. Um, I would recommend just farming sea scorpions and just making this one, because this one will stay as a plus five to skill until you hit 700. Now the only thing I want to add about fishing is, oh geez, how would I go the right way? You will get lures, and this is pretty important. So you can see here I have all of these. This is one for each type of fish that is not the default, uh, crescent saber flesh whatever saber crescent fish whatever it's called I don't remember um, and these are awesome because these mean you can farm anywhere now the you can if you don't want to leave shadow moon but you want to get the say the fire ammonite bait um, you can just click this and get it now the only you can't you can fish most stuff in this pond you cannot really get enormous um, until you have a level 3 fishing shack which you need to catch enormous fish so really sometimes you're just you're better off getting the fire you're better off going to the area but you should be able to select this and fish elsewhere I'm still kind of testing that theory but essentially that's how it works so those are the basic ones let's go on to gathering professions so those are also pretty straightforward um, mining herbalism and skinning you get them from doing what those professions require so when you pick up flowers you'll get a compendium of the herbs of Draenor. When you mine, you will find a trustee. That cannot be the right word. I'm re-looking really this up. No, it is the right word. Okay. A trustee on mining in Draenor. And for skinning, um, you can either get it from skinning or just it'll come as a drop from Mobs, a guide to skinning in Draenor. And you will, again, go on a short little quest and then tally-ho. Um, the only thing I will add to that is these are the only way to get, for the secondary professions and the gathering professions, these are the only way to get these scrolls. Um, the, sec the other secondary professions, the non-gathering ones, um, you can buy if you don't want to try and find them. They cost 100 gold from your vendors, your profession vendor. So if you have enchanting, go to your enchanting trainer and there's a vendor right beside them, blacksmithing, jewel, jewel crafting everything like that is the same. They are 100 gold from your vendors in War Spear or in Storm Shield, depending if you are Horde or Alliance. Um, now these ones, you will loot items from... Actually, I lied, I'm sorry. Um, the secondary professions and the gathering professions, you don't actually have to go on a quest, so it's the crafting ones. I am so tired, I am so sorry. Okay, so um, let's talk briefly about these ones. So. Um, all of them work the same, you just loot a different item. You will do a short quest, and then you will learn three-ish thing. Well, no, you'll learn more than that, but you'll learn the three, The you'll learn your reagents and research, and then you'll learn a couple of very basic ones. Um, so you can see I don't have them all, but I have a few. So every day you're gonna have a few things that have daily cooldowns. So these are the secrets of Draenor Enchanting. And uh, once a day, you make one of these and you get a book and these books allow you now you can do this either at your enchanting vendor again or you can do this if you um, 
if you have their if you have the building the professions building in your garrison you can buy them so you can see I have this is tailoring um, so you can see I, I can buy recipes and this is how you get recipes now um, you have to make this item essentially so let's uh, so I can learn an enchanting one. I don't actually have an enchanting person here I just have my tailoring one because I can make stuff with tailoring and then disenchant it um, but in tailoring what can I make oh good I can make one of you okay and that gets me a book so I will buy it no go away For the alliance. and we're gonna learn it so you can see a lot of the uh, stuff for tailoring I don't know if it's true for the other ones um, require or um, these require potions etc and they require quite a bit of cloth like this these ones all require a hundred cloth but I have work orders like I just made full cloth right there and you can make one a day like or I can make oh no it produces four and if your tailoring skill is higher you can make more than that so there is that um, but yeah that's pretty much it. So I'll just go over what the items are that you're going to get. Now you can get them two ways. They can drop off of mobs or there is a quest you will do in your chain in your starting area, Horde and Frostfire Ridge, Alliance and Shadow Moon Valley. And the quest for Alliance is called Shadows Awaken. For Horde it is called Butcher of Bladespire. And the mob you are going to kill for Alliance is Karnoth. For Horde it is Drog the Ruthless. And he will have a chance to drop at least one. The other one you will get from uh, mobs. So in Alchemy the item you want is the Mysterious Flask. In blacksmithing, it's Hayfest's Satchel. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I usually do. Uh, enchanting is an enchanted high mall bracer. Engineering is a gnomish location transponder. Inscription is a mysterious satchel. Jewel crafting, a drained crystal fragment. Leatherworking, a dirty note. Tailoring, a cryptic tome of tailoring. And yeah, you grab, you find the item again, or you can buy the item for 100 gold. Um, I don't know if you actually go on the quest. I should find this out. Let's find out. Okay, so anyway, um, the only other thing can't figure it out so it doesn't say um the only other thing i will really mention there was something do you think i can remember it no um but yeah that's it oh yeah just um oh uh completing that quest will get you the blueprint for that profession so if you have like me i have enchanting and tailoring so i have the i have the level one garrison blueprints for both of those buildings i'm only using the tailoring one um but i do have them both so yeah that is it for professions um that was kind of off and weird and i apologize but again so completely exhausted anyway uh i don't know what we're going to talk about tomorrow yet so if you have any suggestions as to things you want to know about warlords let me know otherwise yeah i'll just figure something out anyway thank you for watching like and subscribe if you feel so inclined have a beautiful day